Test for iron 3 ion. First step is observation. Salts of iron 3 ion are brown. Second step, dissolve n full spatula of salt in 50 milliliters of water. When salts of iron 3 ion dissolve in water, they form brown solution. Third step, divide the solution into test tubes, put around 5 milliliters in each test tube. Chemicals required 1. Sodium hydroxide solution 2. Diluted ammonia 3. Sodium carbonate solution 4. Potassium hexacyanoferrate 2 5. Potassium thiocyanate solution. Preliminary tests. To the first test tube, add sodium hydroxide solution dropwise until in excess. As you see, Sodium hydroxide react with iron 3 ion to form brown precipitate which is insoluble in excess of sodium hydroxide. Below, there is ionic equation for this reaction. To the second test tube, add ammonia solution dropwise until in excess. As you see, ammonia react with iron 3 ion to form brown precipitate which is insoluble in excess of ammonia. Below, there is ionic equation for this reaction. To the third test tube, add sodium carbonate solution dropwise until in excess. As you see, sodium carbonate react with iron 3 ion to form brown precipitate which is insoluble in excess of sodium carbonate. Below, there is ionic equation for this reaction. Confirmatory tests. First confirmatory test. To the fourth test tube, add few drops of potassium hexacyanoferrate 2 solution. As you see, potassium hexacyanoferrate 2 react with iron 3 ion to form dark blue precipitate. Iron 3 ion is confirmed. The cation present in the salt is iron 3 ion. Below, there is ionic equation for this reaction. Second confirmatory test. To the fifth test tube, add few drops of potassium thiocyanate solution. As you see, potassium thiocyanate react with iron 3 ion to form deep red solution. Below, there is ionic equation for this reaction.
Let's repeat this confirmatory test, then look careful what is going on. As you see, potassium thiocyanate react with iron 3 ion to form deep red solution. Iron 3 ion is confirmed. The cation present in the salt is iron 3 ion. Summary of this experiment. Observation. The color of salt is brown. The brown color of salt indicates that the cation present in salt is transitional metal cation. For examples, iron 2 ion and iron 3 ion, these two cations can form salts that have brown color. In first test tube sodium hydroxide is added dropwise. The cation that forms brown precipitate with sodium hydroxide and precipitate is insoluble in excess of sodium hydroxide, is iron 3 ion. In second test tube ammonia solution is added dropwise. The cation that forms brown precipitate with ammonia solution and precipitate is insoluble in excess of ammonia solution, is iron 3 ion. In third test tube sodium carbonate solution is added dropwise. The cation that forms brown precipitate with sodium carbonate solution and precipitate is insoluble in excess of sodium. Carbonate solution is iron 3 ion. Confirmatory tests. First confirmatory test. In fourth test tube, potassium hexacyanoferrate 2 solution is added. The cation that forms dark blue precipitate with potassium hexacyanoferrate 2 is iron 3 ion. Iron 3 ion is confirmed. The cation present in the salt is iron 3 ion. Second confirmatory test. In fifth test tube, potassium thiocyanate solution is added. The cation that forms deep red solution with potassium thiocyanate is iron 3 ion. Please make subscription. In the description there are links for testing cations and anions. Thank you for watching.